it's Kaiser, and I just want to send a special shout out to everybody out there that subscribed. And I want to thank you for spending part of your day to be here. And if you're not part of that community already, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free, and you're never going to miss an episode. Okay, so today, what we're going to discuss is the many, many glitches that I've came across playing Cyberpunk 2077. I've got about 170 hours in. I've beat it completely. Um, every ending possible. Uh, playing as a street kid. Uh, secret endings. Uh, going back with uh, you know Johnny V. Uh, with the nomads and, and everything else. And uh, this video is going to cover basically the glitches that I've came across. Now you may see some of these glitches in other people's videos. These are just the glitches that I've came across. And I just want to let you know before you continue on, if you have not beat the game, uh, you, if, you, if you don't know how the ending, uh, if, you, if you don't want to know spoilers, I highly recommend that you do not watch this video. You stop the video now, because there will be content spoilers. So, um, you've been warned. Oh, she always knew. <clears throat> Biochip. Hold on to it. I mean, so for the first, what a terrible, it was such a dramatic, a heart-wrenching, Jackie's giving you the chip, he knows he's going to die, and there's a glitch where the gun goes through his head. That's, that's just absolutely terrible. Um, Oh, if only Mama Wells could have seen that, you know, that's, that's probably maybe one of the reasons Jackie died is he stuck a gun through his head. Um, that's just one of the many things glitch-wise in Cyberpunk 2077 that I'm amazed got through QA. Um, if the developers played it, a lot of these cutscenes, I don't understand how I got through. So in this, I had previously, which I didn't capture, had killed some Maelstrom uh, gang members, jumped in a car, no one was in it, drove it around, I had, I had think I was going to this compound, it was part of a mission, I got out and I realized, hey, wait a second, there's some guys in this car. Turned around, yeah, there's some guys in this car. So I literally was driving around in this dude's lap. Um, I don't think I showed it, but uh, I, I did actually end up killing them. Again, Cyberpunk 2077. You mean flamingos? So they are real. Flamingo. Flaming O. The O. That's oxygen. There's no flame without oxygen. Listen, you... Call me Clarice. Okay, Clarice. The flamingos are a problem, I'm sure. But it's time to go home. Delamain's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Here's one of Delamain's cabs. AI is terrible in this game. Uh, seems to be stuck inside this enclosure can't get out so i ran up to it had the signal strength it was uh really easy to capture i went and killed the flamingos this right here is a crazy bug it reminds me something of like maybe you would see with pyramid head um it seems to happen with a tranquilizer i drank i drank a lot of people with low level um when their heads exploded it, when you came up on them at a certain angle and you looked at them, 
have this crazy looking obvious glitch. Um, really weird. Really, really weird. When I was doing uh, a lot of this, I noticed that I had knocked off one of these guys' legs, cybernetic legs, and it was doing this dance, and uh, light was coming from it. Really weird as well. Car spawn glitches are insane. Uh, getting, calling your car is something in itself, but I've had it happen where several times I would call my car and then the car would just spawn into another car and blow up. Uh, here's two prime examples. That's it. Here's a T-Pose, very famous internet meme, started probably somewhere around 2016. You see it in a lot of video games. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is no exception. Uh, for Shutterpunk, I did one with Johnny Silverhand. Uh, you can look at it if you look up for the hashtag uh, Shutterpunk2077 and look up uh, my, my Twitter handle. Twitter is uh, at Kaiser underscore KTRB, Kaiser Redbird. And you'll see um, you'll see one that I did it with Johnny Silverhand. So these guys right here, uh, very classic T pose. Um, you'll see it throughout the game. Scripting dialogue is something that uh, I really don't understand. Again, how I got through the QA. Here's something where I came back to Judy's apartment after she gifted me the apartment, um, which I really never went to i went to once um you know i got the mock shotgun afterward um i went to check it out she ended up being there even though she said she had left um which surprised me uh it wouldn't let me stay the night um but scripting dialogue really got me uh again qa a lot a lot of times the the scripting dialogue does not reflect what's actually happening um, there should be a lot of if then else's put in here. It should not be there if, if you're talking to them. Here's, here's a prime example. Nowadays. I'm taking things easy for now, but I'll get back to work soon. I've got an idea for an experimental virtue cycle. Let's talk about something else. Go for it. I'm driving right now, so it's perfect timing. These are the results I like to see. Until next time, brother. Gate closed. This right here is a visual bug when you're looking in the Badlands and you can see down the road. You see tons and tons and tons of cars. You don't see even, I believe, this many cars in the city, Night City. And uh, if you look at it, you zoom in, they don't actually go anywhere. They never come towards you. It's, uh, it's very odd. Now this bug right here is, is pretty funny. I haven't seen it before on anybody else's feed. If you have, comment. Um, this guy refused to die through any of the hacks that I was using. Um, <laughs> I tried suicide on them. Uh, here's the result. And guys, I just want to remind you to stop over to the store at kaisertheredbeard.com. 
and pick up some Kaiser the Red Beard merchandise. This is a very interesting bug right here. I had just finished with uh, Pan Am. We went and killed Nash. I uh, knew that there was a car in there. I went back to try to find it. I, I believe Rogue had called me. I had called her, something like that. I was driving in and out of the cave trying to find this car. I had previously actually bought um, this car or a similar car already. The car never did spawn for me, but driving out, I noticed that there was this green dot at the end of the cave. Now, I would not have noticed this green dot at the end of the cave, um, or rather I should say, I would not have noticed uh, Rogue, who was standing there, which is the green dot, um, had I not seen her on the mini-map. Drove up to her, noticed it's Rogue. I'm like, what? Why is Rogue out here? There, there's absolutely no reason. This is this is definitely a glitch. Um, I think it had something to do with calling her at the time period. She loaded in. I don't know why. Um, but this is one that I submitted also for Shutterpunk. If you want to look at the Twitter for Shutterpunk. Um, again, the hashtag was Shutterpunk. Uh, and then my handle, of course. V. Had it up to here with this gusty outback. So I just find this kind of funny based on the dialogue. Uh, the guy's stuck in the car. Um, I think it's kind of funny with the dialogue. I don't know. I think I liked it better up north. Less sand and all. Can't remember feeling so itchy. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. Know why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. So this next one is with River Ward. We go into the club, uh, one of the optional um, objectives is to interrogate uh, the animal boss. Um, so, you know, I whip out my, um, my tranquilizer, you know, I'm, I'm shooting stuff. I get a little carried away. Um, However, I think I knock her out or I can kill her, whatever. I'm and end up still interrogating her and she's knocked out on the floor. Uh, really weird, really odd. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done. Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the payup! Who'd you smash it up for? Uh, what's it to you? I might be able to speed up your payment. The f so here's another River Ward bug. Um, towards the end, Obviously you can romance River Ward. Uh, I played as a male V character. Obviously you can't romance River Ward as, as, a, as a male character. So here's a point in the story that you could romance him if you were a female V. Um, so we're climbing up the water tower. Uh, interestingly enough, he goes first, I come behind him. Somehow I pass him on the ladder. No idea how. Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those 
didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. So this next glitch happened uh, where Carrie, Iridine, and us cracks have this like little feud going on, right? Uh, we're supposed to get to the club. This is after we've uh, screwed up their van. Um, my game crashed. This is a glitch that repeatedly happens. So I'm on an Xbox One. I don't have the new one. Um, the next gen, it's, it's the older gen, right? Xbox one, uh, crashes like you would not believe. Um, so that is one of the glitches that I didn't get on here, but it crashes a lot. Um, if I said it, it crashed, I'd say probably it crashes maybe two, possibly three times an hour, um, averages, averages. Um, sometimes, you know, I could go two, three hours and I crash. Sometimes it could crash four or five times an hour. It's just depending. So what happens is at the start of this mission, he meets you across the street. Um, I just happened to have already had a pass because I did a mission beforehand. So I started the pass. We walk through the back door. So as I walk through the back door, game crash. All right. So loaded back in. I, as soon as we loaded back in, walk through and I go to the elevator. I've already been backstage, so I know where I'm going and I'm waiting for Carrie. As soon as I see Carrie Uridine come through, I see this crap. Now, while not game breaking, this is certainly distracting. And again, uh, not sure how this stuff passes QA. Now what is game breaking is when it comes to taking the selfie at the end. They give you the option to take the selfie with them. I was not able to cycle through the photo mode to do the selfie. Could not do it. So that kind of sucks. That, that portion is game breaking in the sense of I could not do it. I was robbed of taking a selfie with us cracks and carrier. That kind of sucks. We have a today, Miguri. Oh wait, this is special boy from Foundation Organization. Now we're gonna chat. Who the fuck are you? The fucking guy. So coming out afterward, you see a couple of dancers, um, strippers, erotic dancers, um, whatever you want to call them, right? Uh, I stood up on stage with them. Uh, I noticed something kind of wrong with their dancing fairly quickly, almost immediately. Um, I'm going to play it at normal speed and see if you can see what was wrong and then um, let me know if you if you noticed it and then I'm gonna slow it down so you can see it again uh, QA
So in this one, I got Johnny Silverhand's Porsche, right? Um, one of those cracks girls, I think it was a Blue Moon, uh, Stalker, uh, saved her, grabbed the body because we're waiting for the cops, cops weren't showing, I was like, ah, I just stay here, right, here, right, whatever. Called in my Porsche, forgot that the Porsche's engine is in the um, back, right? Duh. So I popped open the front, tried to throw the body in. Body wouldn't go. Uh, okay, so I closed it, and it was pretty funny. Okay, in this one we're assaulting the Arasaka Tower with Rogue. Um, I was able to climb on something invisible. I don't know. So I did this ending several times because I was looking for um, a couple different uh, results. This always happened when I jacked out. Again, QA uh, kind of ruins the experience. The How did this get passed? I mean, it happens every single time. We will now move on to the motor function test. Please step onto the treadmill. I'm not sure if this is a bug, guys. If anybody else has seen this, I just happened to be looking over and saw this guy fall. Pretty funny. Have no clue if this is a bug. All right, so this is the invisible weapons glitch. Um, generally with heavy weapons, you can pick them up. Uh, I know there's the invisible katana glitch. Um, this one is more of a, uh, you pick up heavy weapons, it's invisible. This one is with Adam Smasher, picked it up, just invisible weapon. So this one right here is a very interesting glitch. Let me know if you're a bartender and you can pull this one off. So, what about my drink? Hit the spot about this wears a glass to me. Might need it. Want the afterlife to make a drink in your name? You gotta die first. You know the rules. Oh, but I did die, Claire. Oh, um, okay. Okay, I'll... I'll mix you something. So I did this ending a few times, and uh, out of the few times that I did it, I've only seen Misty do this twice. No idea why she does it. Top floor. He had the same glum face. So this glitch right here is with Cassidy and the ending um, when you're assaulting Asaka Tower with the Aldecados. In order to get his gun, you have to shoot a number of bottles. Now you can see here, um, I don't have a time limit. I'm able to shoot inside the camp. Uh, what's happened is if I, I've gotten stuck at a point in the line, um, I'm able to shoot his car. The car can't blow up. Uh, the game glitched out. I had to restart. It actually happened a couple times. Um, not sure why it happened. So in this next clip is also Cassidy with his gun. I thought I had actually got the clip to where I wasn't actually hitting the bottles. If you look back here though, you can actually see that I haven't shot the number of bottles required. When you're shooting the bottles, you'll notice that they're highlighted. And when you shoot them, they blow up. 
Um, I was actually shooting them close enough to where I shot them, but I didn't shoot them, and they became de-highlighted. It counted, Christ. and he gave me his what gun. What kind of machinery have you got in there? Glitch. You should be giving me lessons. Maybe? Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. Die old age Thanks, waiting Chris. for you here. You earned it. Break a leg tomorrow. So this next one is all of us again, um, right before we go assault the socket tower with the avocados, and we're sitting there, um, we're gonna go talk. I could not do what their, their ritual was. They wanted me to talk to do the ritual. Could not do it because it was glitched. Every time I would wanna sit down, froze the game, could not continue. There was a table there that wasn't there when they told me to sit down. Couldn't continue on. Um, this did affect gameplay. It, it was game breaking for me. Uh, however, it was visually hilarious seeing uh, two to three people there. So, as we're assaulting our socket tower uh, with the avocados, and I'm in the basilisk tank, right? We are going forward, and I fall through the freaking map. Uh, this is game breaking. Again, QA, don't know how this happens. Fall to the bottom of the map, uh, have to reload. So something that I have to put up with throughout the entire game is when you call somebody on your hollow, uh, which one, uh, to me doesn't make a lot of sense because you, when you see someone calling, their eyes light up, um, or is the camera to where you can see the other person? Uh, that, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, but also, right now it's so broken that, as you can see here in these, these two clips, it, they just, they come from one side to the other, you don't see them um, as one image. Sometimes when you talk to somebody, it's there, sometimes it's not. Um, this is definitely broken. What's new? Oh, before I forget, some lady called me, Elizabeth something, said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. It's nice of you to think of me, Judy. Hey, don't mention it. I just hope she's worth the eddies. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To a 43. are not allowed on the premises. We wish you a pleasant day. Again, this clip is uh, assaulting the Earth's uh, Academy. So we're ending with Johnny. Two bows.
here's something I'm just nitpicky about uh, with the dialogue. You can't over and out someone on a radio with comms. It's not possible. Either you over or you out. You can't over and out. Okay. Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out. And this ending, I find it very interesting that you start to see that all your stuff is being removed as you're heading toward the Crystal Palace uh, space casino, the space station. So, um, do, do you have all your stuff on previous to this? Because really, I mean, you're, all you're doing is you're putting on your space helmet, your suit, you grabbed a gun, you're getting all your stuff removed, like, you know, any of your mantis blades and all this other stuff. It's very interesting that you're having this stuff removed at this point in time. I'm wondering why. So this right here is very, it is nitpicky, but I mean, come on. You have a rifle with a scope, uh, you can zoom in. You should be able to render cars properly. I mean, you, now, granted, I am somewhere I'm not supposed to be. I am high up. Uh, but say I was somewhere else, I was on a bridge somewhere, I could look somewhere else to another bridge, uh, something. Um, you should be able to, or, or maybe even even uh, from V's apartment or his new apartment or somewhere else, something high enough to where uh, you can see cars traveling normally. I am high up, but looking down at this, these the rendering of the cars are terrible. I mean, it just looks it looks bad. Either just don't render the cars, or don't render them like this. This is bad. This is very very bad. I assume at some point they're going to have you know all these uh, buildings to where we can go in, or or more or less maybe we can go to other levels of these or apartments or something like this. This this is bad. Here is something that's very interesting. I fell off a very, very high height, didn't die. The game just reloaded and I was back up there again. And actually I did this a couple of times. I fell right back off, did it again, fell right back off, did it again. And then I tried it at another angle and fell and it, it actually killed me from fall damage. Um, but it was pretty interesting. I don't know why, I have no idea. In this instance, I wrecked my bike. Um, I was able to get back on it while it was upside down, flipped upside down, and uh, it wouldn't really let me off, blew up. You shouldn't be able to do this. So in this instance, I called my bike, um, and it just kept getting further and further away. Why is it so hard to get your vehicle to come to you? So in this clip, I was on my bike, got off at an angle, went through the embankment, and now I'm underneath the map. Um, had to reload a save to get back out.
So this next glitch, I don't remember who exactly found it first. I did see it online. Um, you run and you slide, and as long as you don't hit any kind of curb or anything as you fall, um, you can fall from pretty much any height and be okay. Um, now, this isn't something that I found, um, but I haven't seen anybody fall from this level of height with a slide and be okay. This is definitely taller, I believe, than Arasaka Tower. Um, you be the judge, but I believe this height is the tallest that I've seen. Let me know if you've seen taller. And finally, this glitch uh, slash exploit, I believe, I found. I haven't seen anywhere else. Now, the glitch itself, I first saw Tag Back TV do. And this was how to get the Satori um, Katana. And uh, this is the first time that I saw glitching through doors with cars. And in it, I believe he used um, what was called the Caliber, uh, Caliburn, I believe. And uh, I believe that's a lot of the supercars are used to glitch through because they force you through to get it. However, uh, the car that I used uh, that you will see for this glitch, which why I say that I believe that I found this, was the... However, in this instance, I'm using the Maki guy, and in order to break through a door um, that I didn't have enough body to rip open. Um, so I was hoping to use the tight space, uh, the small space of the snail, and be able to actually have the door open, which it did, but however, unlike um, what you see in Tag Back TV and the other um, creators that you see online where they can go through walls, mine actually exits to the right side if it's not close enough, which other creators do and other people with glitches do, but mine will actually, if you go through that side, will actually glitch through up uh, to the upper level. So I don't know if this is uh, beneficial in any way to anybody trying to glitch through a level above them, but I found it interesting and I have not seen that yet in any way, in any capacity on anybody's um, YouTube channels to be able to glitch through the car to a level above them. Okay, and that's been it for my Cyberpunk 2077 glitches that I personally have done or came across through playthrough. Um, I know that I have used a lot of exploits in the game to have some fun with. You know, it's single player, it's not multiplayer. I'm not abusing the system uh, with other people. And it's fun to go through and uh, try to actually do some stuff exploring through the city and whatever else of the gameplay. Um, some of these glitches, however, though, are game-breaking and uh, do ruin some cinematic moments and do ruin some gameplay. So hopefully with the updated patches coming out, maybe with them, some of the DLC, uh, they will have a lot of QA and hopefully they will fix this. Um, but that's it for me. If you like this, please comment and subscribe. This is a new channel. It'll help me out greatly. Um, I am engaged. If you have que if you have any questions, uh, ask them, please. I will be more than happy with answering them. Please check out the site, kaiserredbeard.com. Um, check out some merch. And uh, we will have a, uh, more channels. I don't know how many more gaming channels or gaming content that we will have. But uh, by all means, we will be putting out regular content. We have a lot of stuff planned ahead. Um, please check back. We will frequently be putting out new content. Thank you very much. Have a good day.